Mediterranean food. After lunch, we are going to the Kremlin from the Red Square, from Arbat Street, which is the symbol of the city center. And in front of your hotel, there is one of our seven skyscrapers. It is now visible on your left houses and a building of the university, one of our uh, um, most prestigious universities of our city. Just. And by the way, the House of the Parliament of Russian Federation is on your left. This is our White House. For example, this one is the British Embassy. I mean, it belongs to the British Embassy, the building on the left, but it is their apartment house. Buildings on the left, one, two, uh, they are apartment houses which were constructed during the times of Stalin. Stalin style. So now we are going to turn back long minutes we'll go back to the hotel so you can see them uh, not only on the left also on the right this is uh, the architectural style which uh, existed only during the times of Stalin uh, and uh, if now it would be very very expensive uh, because first of all the apartments are very convenient inside the rooms are huge secondly the location location here is the very city center so uh, on the front of us on our left there is moskva river moscow river the main river of our city moscow kva m O C K B A, but we pronounce it Moskva. This is just the uh, case of pronunciation. If you see M O C uh, Moskva, but we say Moskva. Why V consists of 33 letters? English B is V. You see? So if to know this secret, uh, maybe several short, short lessons of Russian, Cyrillic, Russian language, and you will read our Russian letters. Moskva. Moskva. And the same name belongs to this river, which is on your left, with water and beautiful. Covered with water and beautiful. So this is about river Moskva. And oh. before, and by the way, Moscow became the capital of Russia only in the end of the 15th century. Before it was. We call it Borodino Bridge, and Borodino is the name during the invasion invasion of Napoleon and it happened in 1812 and we have several monuments um, a museum uh, which is dedicated to uh, events of 1812 invasion of Napoleon one of the largest uh, train stations is on our right for the first time I can see that it is gray it used to be white
interesting that uh, building with the tower and with the clock but the building uh, next to it is Radisson Hotel this is one more Radisson this one is already 20 years old quite old some very simple apartment houses are on your right right after Radisson Hotel you can see two apartments which were constructed about um, in the uh, 70s, 1970s, not during the Stalin time. So, we are uh, on our way to the Sparrow Hills, to Voropyovy Hills. Uh, and very soon in front you will see one of the largest of our seven skyscrapers but one more thing i would love to show you is uh, that very tall structure in front to it uh, we could see that it is the whole structure it goes up uh, very tall very top of the tower um, an unknown billionaire he wants his name to be concealed from everybody bought it for 20 million dollars it is on the top and uh, they say uh, that he's not going even to leave on the other side of bosco river that one is uh, ministry of foreign affairs this is actually not the hill this is just the highest point of uh, our Moscow Bank, uh, Moscow River Bank. By the way, the place on the left is the wall which belongs to the new Maidens Convent Cemetery. All our very famous people are buried. You see, it is located almost in the city center. Uh, but um, it is uh, actually it used to be the, uh, the convent. Uh, and now it is the convent. It was constructed in long, long ago, in 1594. And later, the Dria going to the Sparrow Hills, which before we used to call Lenin Hills. When communists came to power, uh, got all the power, Lenin was the leader of that party. And uh, he was like God for Russian people, by the way after 1970, even without the money. And when we today go to the Moscow Metro, you will see one of the brightest examples of uh, even there are no trash cans, in, cans inside. As in future, when communism comes, and a lot of people worked only for the idea, idea of coming communism. And nowadays in Moscow, it is still reflected in different buildings and different. Of course, it was recon uh, reconstructed, uh, renovated. I mean, uh, the name of it is Lushniki, and it was used for opening 1980, long ago. We are crossing Moscow River with Metro Bridge, because just under us there is a metro station which is the only one located above the this observation platform, uh, which is very popular for Moscovites. Moscovites come here uh, for fun, especially in the evening. Uh, and now, when we arrive there, uh, they will be hard to have fun. Uh, so we are taking you to the place which is not only interesting for tourists, it is also very, very favorite, uh, famous, favorite by Moscow Whites. And the 